quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. It's where we all begin. Good. Welcome to Lazy Dog Typewriters. In the 1988 movie, twins Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito play two twins separated at birth by a secret experiment. In many ways, they appear very different but are fundamentally the same. We are not identical twins. <gasps> oh, no? No. Well, I wouldn't be too sure, pal. I don't lie. I am your brother, and you must let me help you get out of here. Both are v well loved and better when they're together. We at Lazy Dog Typewriters would like to introduce another set of twins. A cream coral torpedo 18 and a cream and coral XL 500. Sometimes even we can't keep them apart. Which one is which? A torpedo and the Webster XL 500. Coral and cream, twins forever. Howdy folks, Lazy Dog Typewriters here. Sometimes when you love something, you really wish you could have more than just one. And that's the case here with our lovely Torpedo 18 in cream and coral. This is a lovely machine, maybe one of our favorite machines from our collection. Beautiful styling. This particular example is in excellent shape. It has an interesting, somewhat challenging history with us and some repairs we had to make. But just cosmetically, an absolutely beautiful machine made in 1959 to 1960 uh, in West Germany uh, by Remington. Remington owned the Torpedo uh, brand name and just an absolute star in the constellation of fantastic typewriters. Anyone who's typed on the Torpedo can tell you they're extremely responsive, snappy, fast, just a wonderful machine to type on, a wonderful machine to look at. And this example we just fell in love with. It's one of the most expensive typewriters in our individual collection. And we just wish we could have more torpedoes. So we decided to make some. <laughs> and some may be aghast at this. But what we have next to our Torpedo 18 is a Webster XL500. Now those are two typewriters that are not often mentioned in the same sentence. But we here at Lazy Dog Typewriters absolutely love the Brothers series of typewriters, which come in a long and wide variety of names, including uh, Brother, of course, Kmart, um, the signature line for Montgomery Ward, Escort, also sold in the Montgomery Ward name. But this is a Brother JP1 variant, which normally comes in your standard blue, which is a very serviceable and, and utilitarian, if you will. Uh, example, we have retained the original color on this one. But we decided once we had our Torpedo 18 that we wanted another one. And because we love the operational excellence of the brother lines of typewriters, we decided to create another torpedo, at least cosmetically reminiscent of our Torpedo 18, in the version of this Webster. And we thought, you know, with the quality innards of the brother Webster XL500 paired with with the paint scheme of this beautiful Torpedo 18B and the relatively less expensive uh, aspect of the, of the Brothers, which are more plentiful than certainly than the Torpedoes, that we might just get the best of both worlds, a little bit of peanut butter in our chocolate. So hopefully you'll agree with that and we'll take a look at our Webster XL500 Torpedo 18B. Let's talk about the Brother JP1, which is what the Webster XL500 really is under its marketing nomenclature. Some of the features of the JP1 Brother are it has a full uh, keyboard in this, this variant. It has including a dedicated one exclamation key and a tabulator. This tab is a simplified tab and then it is a every 10 uh, character spaces. It is preset tab so you don't have to set a tab. And while other machines have a manual tab set you can use with a, with a set and a clear, like some of the Smith Corona models, we've never really found much need to have that. And I think for most of what people are using typewriters for today, either no tab, which our Torpedo 18 has no tab, or 
a um, preset tab of every 10. Works absolutely great for creating columns. The Brother XL500 has a touch selector switch on the left. One other thing which is lacking from the Torpedo, not that we're saying that the Webster is better, but it does have fully functional uh, character set, uh, characteristics. So including our uh, touch control, we have a high or low, and on, unlike many other machines, the Brother really does seem to make a noticeable difference for most typists when you vary from high to low setting. Uh, we've talked about the tab, here you have your tab key, you have a bike chrome ribbon selector, so red, stencil, and black. One of the features that the Brother also has is a half space mechanism, so if you press a space you'll get a normal space, but if you press and hold and then you type a key, it will uh, deliver a half spacing increment of what you've typed and that's useful if you've left out a character or if you uh, need to erase uh, make an erasure because you have a mistake you can erase the word and then squeeze in an extra letter as you retype the word later Smith Corona's had that feature but uh, some other models do not continuing on around you have your tab sets on your uh, rather XL 500 which are manually set here and I just said tab set but your margin sets and you have your line selector lever, which we'll zoom in on. So you have um, the ability to have a single spacing, one and a half spacing, which is very useful. And my favorite line selection, just the, kind of the best of both worlds again. And then a double spacing here. So let's go ahead and pop the hood on this one and take a look at what is going on underneath it. Okay, so a very clean machine, very simple. It is a carriage shifted machine, somewhat of a heavy touch, unlike the Torpedo 18, which is a basket shift. Very serviceable, but uh, your pinky may get a little bit of workout as you use the shift key. One of the modifications we have done to this machine, other than, of course, painting it, is replaced all of the rubber. So we have grommets right here, which are replaced here, and also over on this location here. And that's where the ribbon cover is held in place. So these prongs attach into those uh, rubber grommets and another important feature of this ribbon cover is that there are rubber bushings here, 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 and here and these are almost always crumbling and brittle and dry when you find these machines. It only served 50 years or so of service so they're due for a change and we've replaced all of those. And those two features right there will combine to give you a much quieter typing experience than some of brothers you might have found that haven't had that service performed on them. One of the complaints against brothers is that they may have a little bit of a tinny sound to them. And we don't hear that much of it, but we do understand that some people do. And a lot of it, I think, is coming from the fact that they haven't replaced these grommets and those, especially those resting pads. Now, one of the things we learned about while perusing the forums is yet another enhancement you can make to these Brother JP1 variants, so the XL500 and the Kmart100 and various other models, is you can add some dampening material to the type bar rest. And here you'll see uh, just your standard type bar rest, but if you look very closely, and hopefully you'll be able to see this, and we'll try to zoom in, we went ahead and added what's called Dum Dum Putty. Uh, just specially suited for us, but Dum Dum Putty is an electrical conduit sealant and it has properties such that it will not dry out and become brittle itself. It's almost like a clay infused with some more polymers, almost like the kinetic sand kids like Kevin and Katie like to play with. It never really sticks to you, but it's sticky enough to hold to itself. And by aligning this type bar rest, we were able to really help significantly also reduce any sound or vibration we were getting from the type bar rest being transmitted through the uh, sheet metal body of the typewriter. One other thing you can do, if you so choose, is you can put a dampener, much like modern tennis rackets now have. You often see those neat little circles or emoticons stuck into the bottom strings of a tightly strung uh, tennis racket. You can put a sliver, a dampener of rubber behind these little tines and you'll hear the little vibration this can make. And what is the purpose of this to begin with? Well, it is a type bar returner. So as you type a character, it hits and it rebounds off of this object and helps your uh, typewriter be able to respond more quickly to your typing strokes. So it helps rebound that particular key, 
type slug, kick it back, and gives you the ability to go type even faster. For slow typers like us, it's probably overkill, but some people sometimes hear a little metallic ting coming from that, and if you wish, you can deaden that as well. So these are all. We've talked about the sound enhancing improvements. Let's uh, take a look and see how they sound. And take a look at the output. I'm not the world's greatest typist, but we'll zoom in, see if I made any typos. Looks like I did. But the first is with a dead old ribbon, and the second line is with a brand new old ribbon. Uh, other than the missing eye and quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, you can see we did pretty well. It's a very nice, clean, crisp, elite 12 character per inch font, which coincidentally is exactly what is on the torpedo. And we'll give that another uh, comparison just here in a second. And here is the torpedo. And that, of course, is with an absolutely brand new ribbon installed and very nice and dark and crisp. But you can see an almost identical, maybe just a tiny bit smaller. I think the torpedo has a metric um, uh, measurement instead of characters per inch, it would be in characters per millimeter. But in any case, pretty much 12 characters per inch versus the very similar prestige or elite font in the Brother, which is right above it. And both of them are, are very nice. We'll go into some detail. If you look very closely, you might notice that there's a little bit of a uh, out of position on the H on this machine. It's a little bit low and just a hair light on this torpedo. And then when we do a full review of this Torpedo 18, we'll go into why that is and how that came to be. Some of the fun things you can find in a typewriter is all of this ephemera. So we have here the original manual for the care and maintenance of your Webster XL500 portable typewriter. Gives you lots of useful tips on all the different functionality of your machine. Location and labeling of all the controls. A very helpful packing guide. And what's particularly fun for us is you'll see noted here these strange looking plastic pieces on either side of a typewriter. And we sure wish every time somebody shipped us a typewriter or we had to ship a typewriter to a customer that we had those type of plastic packing pieces because they are <laughs> often long gone, but not in the case of this Webster XL500, which as you can see here, somewhat miraculously, these protective packing pieces have been retained by the previous owners, who must have loved this machine as much as we do, to keep these packing pieces, which secure the carriage on either side and help protect it from the harm and the villains of FedEx and UPS and USPS shutter. And we also have here the typewriter five-year guarantee, which has probably been outlived by 10 or 15 times, well not quite 15, but at least 10 times since the manufacture of this machine in 1968. And last but not least, we have our overall case, which is a really pretty leatherette, nice blue, and is in good shape with nice good chrome, and a decent zipper, which is still attached, which is not always the case on these things. Just a great, altogether great little package, one that we're really fond of. All in all, what it gives to us is a fully featured typewriter that is a fraction of the cost and certainly dramatically more plentiful than the Torpedo 18. One of the special things about this particular set of typewriters is that we started out by saying how much we love the Torpedo that we made another one in the form of this Webster and it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek but we're really happy to, to know that the Webster XL500 which we love just as much as we love this Torpedo We'll be going to a dear friend, an artist in California, who is new to typewriters and who we hope will fall in love with them as much as we have. And Heather, here's to you and great typing adventures. It's not a typo. It's not a tumor. Please like, subscribe, and share.